Hello and welcome to the 7th episode of Closure Tip of the Day screencast. In this episode I will show you how to use great Emacs package called CLJ Refactor to uh, speed up your coding. Let's start with a simple example of downloading data from the internet. Uh, I know I can use a quite well-known CLJ HTTP library. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it on my class path and I already have a REPL running. So, uh, typically what I would need to do is to go to my project.clj and add a dependency here and then restart the whole REPL, which can take a long time depending on the number of dependencies and the size of your uh, project. So. Let's try a different approach. I can use CLJ refactor package and uh, CLJ R added a project dependency refactoring in particular to hot load dependency and automatically add it to my project. Uh, I'm using SpaceMax in evil mode and uh, all those refactorings are prefixed with comma R shortcut in my case. So uh, let's uh, type in RAP. Uh, type CLJ HTTP, press enter and uh, pick up the latest version, which you can see is automatically added to the project.clj. Uh, if we look into the REPL, we can see that a bunch of transitive dependencies have uh, also been loaded, so, uh, so far so good. Uh, we could now try to evaluate our function. Unfortunately, I still don't have a proper require at the top of my namespace declaration. Uh, instead of uh, adding it manually, I can use another refactoring called CSJR, added a require to NS, which is comma R A R. And now um, go into the input uh, insert mode and type CLJ. Now I can press uh, Ctrl Alt I and get a nice Helm buffer with auto completion. So type IP client, press enter, press tab two more times and type the desired alias and press tab finally and I'm back uh, in my function body. So now I should be able to uh, eval the function and call it and uh, I should get a proper result. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that was uh, one refactoring which is uh, quite handy and saves a lot of time. Let's uh, look at another ones. Uh, there are some refactorings uh, related to extracting the function. So um, let's say I have uh, some transformation like this and I want to put it into the function. I can call CLJR extract function. I need to press yes because the uh, whole project uh, has to be analyzed. Uh, okay, in this case it fails because uh, I have uh, another refactoring prepared which uh, conflicts with this one. There is some unresolved symbol. So let's try this uh, again. Okay, now it should work. Call it just odds. And uh, yeah, you can just evaluate now and perhaps call it if you want. Okay, so that work, that can save you some time. A related refactoring which caused the problems before is uh, here. Let's say I'm writing uh, some code and uh, now I came to the point that uh, uh, there should be some functionality but uh, I don't want to write it in line. Instead I want to um, put uh, here some <coughs> Uh, function so I can call CLJ I create a fan from example and it will create a function template for me which I can then implement like this for example. Okay so we get our result let's move on to another refactorings. Uh, uh, the refactorings related to 
flat special form are quite use, useful as well. Uh, here you can see the state, the desired result we, we would like to achieve. So let's start uh, from the beginning. <clears throat> we'll start with uh, CLJR introduce LED refactoring. And uh, let's see how that works. Uh, give it a name called OTS. And we can see that the uh, LED block has been extracted, but uh, unfortunately it uh, misplaced. So what we can uh, use here is CLJR expand LED refactoring and uh, use it two times. And uh, now we have uh, wrapped it properly. It still works. Uh, we can use another refactoring called CLJR move to LED to move the map uh, as expression to the LED binding as well. So let's try that. I'll call it even again. And here we are. We now have the final result. So this group of LED related refactorings might be quite useful in a lot of cases. Uh, let's, look, let, let's look at another quick example, which is uh, CLJR or closure convert collection. For example, closure convert collection to vector. Let's say you have a hash set and you want to convert it to vector. You need to put your cursor on the curly left curly blast, uh, brace character and then press comma R C and uh, square bracket. And now we have a vector instead of uh, set. Okay. Uh, finally, there are some threading macros related refactorings, which uh, also might be quite useful in a lot of cases. So let's quickly demonstrate that. Uh, let's say I want to convert uh, all this nested uh, expression to more readable thread last macro variant. So let's try CLJR thread last all refactoring. Oh, sorry, that was the wrong one. It's a... Right, this is the right one. This uh, is incorrect, so I will fix it. Uh, it's almost uh, as we would like it to be, but uh, we want to have range 10 as uh, one expression. So let's try the, uh, the next one, CLJI unwind. And we have the desired results. Uh, if we want to convert it back, or we just have a code in thread, <coughs> in threading uh, form that we want to convert to nested expressions, we can call CLJI unwind all, and uh, we are back again. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode.